Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday morning, we are back from holiday. We had such a lovely time, we got back a couple of days ago, um, just at the end of the heat wave. I feel like we missed the worst of it. And then, I mean, we came back from really hot weather anyway, so we were kind of used to it, but gosh, hasn't it been hot here? Um, so yeah, got back a couple of days ago and I've just been getting back into the swing of things. I've had loads of work to catch up on. I spent yesterday editing the holiday vlog which went up last night and just catching up on work. So it's been a couple of busy days and I thought I'd pick up my camera again today to vlog and have a little catch up. Um, but we had the best time. It was such a lovely little break. We went on, for those of you who didn't know, we went on a Virgin cruise. and was sailing around the Mediterranean and it was just wonderful. I was a little bit kind of dubious as to what, like how we would find a cruise um, because it was, we were very kindly invited as a PR trip. Um, and so I was a little bit like, obviously I was really excited, but I thought, I wonder how we're going to find this. Like, I don't know what the, you know, what we'd, how we'd find a cruise. So sometimes you think of cruises for being, um aimed towards like slightly older audience but it was amazing and i would definitely do a cruise again like i love the whole concept of it i love the fact that you were you had your like lovely luxury little home and then you could get off each day and see different places have a little like, explore different beautiful little places and then get back on the boat and everything you needed was on there and it was just wonderful we had such a lovely time and then we spent it was a week's cruise and then we spent two nights after that in Barcelona just because it finished in Barcelona and we wanted to kind of like just have a couple of days there to see Barcelona which again was really lovely I didn't vlog when we were there just because I didn't really have my phone much I didn't really I didn't hardly even took any pictures to be honest we just spent two days just enjoying Barcelona which was a really lovely end to the trip um, but now I'm back and like I said it's Friday I have got a pile behind me here of packages that arrived whilst I was away some of them are PR packages some of them I have ordered myself and so I thought I would get into the packages to start off the video and show you what's arrived since I've been gone okay so we'll start off with this package here and this is from a brand called Vivea and if you haven't heard of them they are an eco-friendly sustainable footwear brand they use recycled materials to create the products. They have a zero waste process, which is incredible for, amazing for the environment and for climate change. In fact, one pair of shoes is made using six recycled plastic bottles found from city waste or from the ocean, recycled to make one pair of shoes, which is incredible. So I will show you what I ordered. I ordered two pairs of shoes and one bag. So, I'm gonna start with the shoes and then I'll show you the bag afterwards. I'm just gonna move you back a little bit so you can see better. Okay, that's better. Um, so this is the first pair that I ordered and I just thought the style of these was so classic and simple, really feminine, and would be great just styled with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. But equally, I thought that these would be amazing as workwear as well. If you're looking for a nice kind of simple pair of super comfortable workwear shoes i thought the style of these was gorgeous so i went for the cream with kind of like a beige stitching going through because i thought they would work really well with all of like my neutral outfits and it says on the side thank you for being the owner of the first pair of hemp flats in the world you have witnessed the evolution of the material from recycled plastic bottles to the most environmentally friendly organic hemp yarn okay so some of the shoes like i mentioned before are made from recycled plastic bottles but these are obviously made from organic hemp yarn hemp is amazing naturally carbon negative unmatched ability to absorb co2 low water use no chemical fertilizers or pesticides required natural and organic and they feel like they're going to be really comfortable as well so i will try them on in a minute and style them up with an outfit to show you how they look on but this is the first pair and then the second pair that i went for is a very similar style but in the black because again i thought that these were just a very classic timeless style these are just plain black like they've got no detail to the knit whereas this one has got the kind of slightly contrast stitching on it and i thought again these would just be great as like a smart pair of black shoes really lovely with trousers um but again would look cute with jeans and a white t-shirt and a black blazer as kind of like a nice smart 
spring or autumn shoe and um, great with t-shirts, with a t-shirt and a blazer as a kind of slightly as an alternative to and the if I just hold them next if I hold them next to each other you can see that they're the same style but the black ones are just plain black whereas these ones have got the slightly kind of more contrast stitching to them and again I thought these would be lovely if you wanted a nice smart pair of shoes as workwear but equally I think that these will look great just with jeans a white t-shirt and a black blazer just as an alternative to a loafer or a ballet pump I thought that they were a really lovely shape and again I will pop those on and show you how they look styled up and then the bag that I went for and I thought the style of this was really lovely I thought it would be a really practical bag to have that you could just chuck loads into and this is the tote bag and this says on the label I think this is also made from recycled plastic bottles as well yes it's got this little symbol on it which has got plastic bottles and a recycled symbol so I presume it is um, it says made with recycled polyester recycled materials 3d knit technology um, machine washable and lightweight so it's super practical the fact that you can chuck loads in it and then pop it in the washing machine if it needs a wash and on the inside it has got a pocket I will pop some bits in it and show you it with an outfit as well so you can see how it looks I do have a discount code for Vivea as well which I will pop on the screen and leave in the description box below obviously the styles here will also be linked below as well and I will also link Vivea's Instagram account if you did want to have a little look at some of their other styles find out a little bit more about the brand I will pop their Instagram in the description box below okay I thought I'd come and sit down to open some of the other packages because it's a little bit brighter here it's such a grey and gloomy day and it was getting a bit dark in the kitchen um, but first up Oh. oh, I'm stuck. Oh, first up is a package from Laura Mercier. 2022 marks the 25th anniversary of our beloved brand Laura Mercier. Please enjoy the enclosed 25th anniversary limited edition translucent loose setting powder. Oh, amazing. It looks huge as well. little puff oh wow I like that packaging how pretty is that so this is obviously a limited edition anniversary anniversary edition of the translucent loose setting powder which is an amazing setting powder um, so that will definitely be put to good use especially with the weather as it is at the moment um, next up is a little box from glossy box and I haven't received a glossy box in years. They used to send me them. Um, and I think this must be like a limited edition one because sometimes they send out limited edition ones. Yes, yeah, so this is a heat and glossy box collaboration. So in here there are, I did used to love glossy box because you'd always like discover new products that you've never heard of before or tried. Um, some of them, sometimes you'd get things that you wouldn't use, but other times you'd like discover a really good product. So this is a shampoo bar. Never actually tried a shampoo bar before. Oh, that looks nice, like a little Rituals body oil. Look at the shimmer on that. So like I said, yeah, don't get me wrong, some of these things I wouldn't use, but, oh, that's actually really handy. A small after sun gel, especially when you are only taking hand luggage. That will come in really handy. Oh, this is a good one. This is from Joe Loves, which I always love a product from Joe Loves. So this is the Mango Thai Lime collection. So what does it say? Introducing the scent of summer from Joe Loves Mango Thai Lime, including the latest launches, a fragrance paintbrush and a body cream. Joe Malone combines the culinary delights of Thailand with fresh mango, lime leaf and black pepper. I mean, I love the smell of this anyway. I have smelled this before and it is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful, fresh, like, summery. Oh, oh, that looks thick as well. I'm going to pop a little bit of that on. My skin needs this at the moment as well after holiday. Oh. So gorgeous it's so like fresh and like zesty and makes you want to lick your arm 
Um, so a body lotion, and then this is a fragrance paintbrush gel. So I'm guessing that'll be actually really handy to have in your bag. So I'm guessing you pop it in there and then like click it up and pop it on. That is a really handy little thing to have in your handbag, isn't it? Um, so I'll try that out later. And then one other package in here. What's in here? Oh, the fragrance. I'm gonna have to pop some of this on. I haven't actually put perfume on today. Oh, it's so like fresh and zesty. Mmm, lovely. Oh, that's a lovely little package to come back to. Oh, okay, so this is the new daily milk foliant from Dermalogica. So you've probably seen me raving before about their daily microfoliant, an incredible like exfoliator, really, really lovely. And this is the new, uh, new daily milk foliant. So it's using coconut milk powder, fine oat powder and papain extract to help remove dead skin cells. I will give that a go and let you know how I got on with that. I'll keep you updated with that one because I'm very intrigued to try that. Oh, this is a top. No, actually, no, it's not. It's a body. I ordered this a while ago, but it got delayed. I think it was like out of stock or it came back into stock. Anyway, this is so, so pretty. Actually, no, I did originally order it in the white, but I think that was out of stock, so I ordered it in the pink instead. I just thought this was so cute. It actually looks like a swimsuit, doesn't it? It's not, it's a, it's a body, um, but I thought of maybe like a pair of high-waisted trousers on holiday or, I don't know, it's a little bit kind of out there. I don't think everyone will love it, but I just thought it was so pretty and just something a little bit different. And then the final thing I ordered from Oasis are another pair of these trousers. And the reason I ordered another pair of these is because I, you may have seen if you saw my holiday video, I ordered these gorgeous trousers before I went away and I cut the shorts out of the inside of them just because I, I put them on and I just thought actually, I'm gonna try and cut them out. It's kind of like, you know, it's one of those moments where it's like, do I or don't I? Um, so I did, I cut the shorts out, but I thought actually what I'll do is I'll order another pair and then have, then I've got both options. Like if I do want to wear them with the built-in shorts, um, then I can. And if not, then I've got a pair without because I just think they're such a gorgeous pair of trousers and I can see myself wearing these so much like year after year. I just think the style of them is really, really lovely. Um, and when I cut the shorts out of the other ones, they look great, but from the back, obviously you probably, You'd either need to wear swimwear underneath it or like a longer shirt over the top, which is how I styled them. Um, so these are the trousers. I will insert a cutaway of them on. They're just really, really lovely. Such a beautiful pair of trousers. And on, on holiday, when I wore them, I wore them on the last evening of the cruise and had loads of compliments. Everyone loved them. And I just think they're such a lovely pair of trousers. So if they're still available, I will leave those linked as well, I think. That is everything that's arrived. I am going to get rid of some of this packaging and then I will try on the shoes and show you how they look on. Okay, so this is how the first pair of shoes look on. And oh my goodness, they are so, so comfortable. They literally feel like they are hugging your foot. I will put a little close up on so you can see like when you bend your foot, they just really hug the sides and they feel super comfortable on. I just put them on with a white shirt and jeans because this is one way that I would wear them kind of like spring, summer, just super easy. They look really lovely styled like this. But like I said before, as work where I think with a pair of smart cream or beige trousers, they would be really, really lovely and super kind of practical for work wear as well. I am wearing them in a size four and a half and that's my regular size. And I would say they're pretty true to size of anything. They kind of maybe run a little bit small. They feel a little bit snug, but I don't think I'd want them any bigger because I'm guessing they will probably kind of give as your foot molds to them as well. Um, and I just think they look so lovely. Like they're a really nice kind of dainty shape, very feminine and just a really, really lovely pair of shoes. Really like them. Um, so I will try on, I'm gonna change up my outfit a little bit and try on the black ones and show you how they look on. And then this is how the black shoes look on. And again, I love how these look on, that they also feel so, so comfortable on. They just hug my foot really nicely. They're such an elegant shape. I've just styled them with a white t-shirt, black blazer and jeans again. 
and I think they look really lovely styled like this. They just keep that, they've just got that very kind of timeless, elegant style to them and work really well with an outfit like this, but also would be fab as workwear as well, just because they are so comfortable. They've got like a little bit of a cushioned sole. They hug the side of your foot. There's no kind of like gaping. Sometimes this style of shoe can gape a little bit around the edge, but these just feel like the perfect shape. Really, really flattering and just a really lovely style. I'm super, super impressed with these. And just to mention, the shoes are also machine washable as well, so you can just pop them in the washing machine if they need a freshen up, which is great for a smart shoe like this to be machine washable. And then this is how the bag looks with the outfit. And like I said, now it's got some bits in it, it just fills out the shape that little bit better and it gives it that slightly more structured look to it and just a really lovely shape. And I love the fact that it's kind of like a mix of black and neutral, so it works really well with black outfits, but would also work really well with like light neutral summer outfits as well. And this would be great as an everyday bag. It fits loads in there. You could take it to the beach with you, but equally it would also work really well as a workwear bag as well, because it is so lightweight. I could fit my laptop in there and lots of other bits and it still wouldn't be too heavy. Um, so yeah. Really lovely, practical little tote bag. I will leave it linked below. And like I said before, both pairs of shoes will be linked below in the description box as well. And I will also pop my discount code down there too if you did want to purchase anything. It's a couple of hours later now and I've just had another package arrive. I know it feels like there's been a lot of unboxings in this video, which wasn't intentional. But obviously where I'd been away, there were quite a few things arriving. And then this arrived today and I wanted to get into this straight away because I'm very excited about this. And it is from a brand called Nadine Moravi. It is a beautiful, well, two beautiful dresses. And I have got a wedding tomorrow. Talk about leaving it last minute. Um, I have got another kind of couple of options that I'm thinking of wearing, if not. But they reached out to me and asked if I would like to select a dress from the website. And I thought, it couldn't be more perfect time. I've got a wedding tomorrow and their dresses are the most beautiful wedding um, wedding guest dresses or occasion wear dresses. They do so many stunning styles. And actually, the one that I chose, I chose one that I love and then another one is like another option. But the one that I chose, I've been eyeing up for ages and I'd seen it on other people on Instagram and I always loved the look of it. So I thought I would quickly get into it and show you what I ordered. So they've come in this big box. I came into the bedroom as well by the way just for a little bit of a change of scenery. <laughs> um, and Charlotte we absolutely adore you here at Morabi. We hope you love your new style as much as we do. You're going to look amazing in it and we can't wait to see. Send you so much love. Mia and the team at Morabi. P.S. We hope you like your little gift. Oh what's the little gift? Oh Look at those! Oh my gosh, they're so cute pajamas. Oh, they're lovely. Oh my goodness, look at these. Are they not the most bougie pajamas you've ever seen? I mean, obviously I wouldn't wear them to sleep in, but I can absolutely see myself lounging around the house in these. They are so cute. Oh. What a nice little surprise. I didn't order these by the way, obviously they've said they've just packaged them in as an extra little gift, which are fabulous. I will pop those on. Oh wow. This is the dress that I went for. How beautiful is that? I just thought the colour and the style of this was so stunning. So it's got this structured like body corset and then it kicks out into like a flare midi skirt and it's just so perfect for a summer wedding. The quality of it is beautiful as well. Look at that lining. And then the second option I went for is this beautiful dress, which is also in a very similar color, but this is more like a mini dress and it kind of kicks out into more, but not a mini, kind of like a, just above your knees, I think. And I also thought that this was beautiful as well. This is like my favorite and this was just another option just in case but they are both beautiful. Let me know in the comments which one you like the most. And I might, I might film like a get ready with me tomorrow, I, if I've got time. I don't think the wedding's until like three o'clock. So obviously I've got plenty of time in the morning, so I might do like a little like wedding get ready with me. 
and then I might leave it to that video to show you the dresses on. I might. I might show you in this one, I might show you in that one. I know that's annoying. Um, but they are both gorgeous, aren't they? I will leave them linked below. Okay, so I thought I would try the dresses on and show you how they look on. I thought it was a little bit unfair to show you them and not show you them on. Um, so this is the first dress and how gorgeous is this? It is just beautiful. So perfect for a summer wedding. The only thing I'm thinking is that it's got this kind of like, um, like a, you can see where it sort of sits there, where the corset ends, and it's just digging in ever so slightly, which was fine. Like I feel standing up in it is absolutely fine, but when I sit down, I'm thinking if I'm eating all day, not eating all day, but you know what I mean, sitting down, eating, drinking, will that get a little bit annoying? Like if I'm sat there, will it start to dig in? So that's the only thing that's making me think maybe I should save this and I am going to Goodwood, like to the races, and I think maybe this would be better to save it and wear it to the races instead. Um, but it is so pretty. I do want to wear it, but I just, I want to be comfortable as well. So I'm just wondering, like, I'm not sure whether or not I should save it for, for an occasion where I'm not going to be sitting down as much. Um, but the, the shape of it is just beautiful, like this corset body top is stunning, it's a really flattering shape and it does like nip in really nicely and then kicks out and it is beautiful, very like princessy. Um, but I'm not sure, let me know your thoughts if you think I should go for this one or not. Um, I will pop on the next dress and show you how it looks. This is option number two. And this is also beautiful. The quality of both of them is stunning. They both just feel really lovely, structured, beautiful dresses. I think personally, I prefer the shape of the other one. I think the style of it is just a little bit more me for a wedding. Also, ignore my hair. I have just popped it into a ponytail just to kind of like show you the dresses on, but obviously tomorrow I would have it nice and wavy and it would work a little bit better with the style of both of the dresses. Um, but I think that this is really cute but I think I prefer the style of the other one for me. Um, but let me know your thoughts. And this one does feel really like comfortable and cute and you could like dance in it. Um, but yeah, let me know which one you prefer. And then just to quickly show you, this was my other option that I was thinking of wearing. I got this a few weeks ago from Oasis. I will leave it linked below if it is still available. It's actually showing up a little bit red on camera, but it's like a bright, like a bright kind of fuchsia pink. The lighting is not the best today because it's really dark outside um but this is another option i actually featured this in a reel on my instagram and i know a lot of you loved it when i featured it there and again i would have like wavy hair maybe like a matching pink like a bright pink lip might be quite nice and this is a little bit bigger as well so i feel like i could sit and eat in this one as well and it would be a little bit more comfortable to sit around in all day so let me know out of the three which one you think I should go for. Obviously all three are beautiful dresses. I'm just thinking that like, I'm considering being comfortable as well. I think I'm at the age now, like before I'd be like, no, it's all about looking my best. But now I'm like, I do also want to be really comfortable as well. Um, and I do think this is also really pretty. Um, so let me know which one you think. Although saying that, this video may have gone, probably have gone live by the time. In fact, it will have gone live by the time. So let me know anyway which one you like the best. Um, anyway, I'm going to pop the cute little pyjamas on and show you how they look. <laughs> how cute are these pyjamas? They are gorgeous. They're definitely not something I would have ordered for myself, like with the feathers around the cuffs and around the bottom as well. But actually, I think they are super cute. And yeah. Love them. I'm not sure what size I'm wearing, so I will double check the size and leave the information in the description box. And also I'll leave the sizes that I'm wearing for each of the dresses as well, if you did spot anything that you like the look of. Um, but yeah, they are so cute. I think I'm gonna leave them on now. I feel like there's no point getting changed back into my regular clothes. These are staying on for the evening. And actually, these are perfect for this evening, because I'm thinking of having a little bit of like a pamper, pamper evening before tomorrow. 